In this problem, we are asked if we're trying to construct a right cylindrical cup with no top and holds 1,000 cubic centimeters, what are the dimensions that we should choose to minimize the surface area? Let's draw a quick picture just to see what we're talking about. So this is the shape we're looking at. And we'll keep in mind that it has no top. So we know that the volume is 1,000 cubic centimeters, which is also going to be equal to pi r squared times h. It's our formula for volume of a cylinder. What else do we know? The surface area of such a shape, which we'll call s, is going to be equal to 2 pi r times h, which is the surface area of the sides, plus the surface area of one of the top or bottom. Since it has no top, it's just the bottom, which in this case is just going to be pi r squared, where, of course, r is the radius and h is the height. So since we're trying to minimize surface area, what we want to do is take the derivative of s. But in order to do that, we need it to be a function of one variable. So what we can do to make that happen is isolate h in terms of r. So we can do this by dividing both sides of this equation by pi r squared. And what we get is that the height is 1,000 divided by pi r squared. So we'll just take this piece of information, plug it back into s, and what we get is 2 pi r times 1,000 over pi r squared plus pi r squared stays just as it was. Okay, well, we can simplify this a little bit, make it easier to work with. So that s is equal to, we see that the pi's are going to cancel, and one of the r's are going to cancel. So the first term becomes 2,000 over r plus pi r squared. Cool beans. So. Now that we have s as a function of r, we're going to go ahead and take the derivative of it. Let me do that over here. So s prime of r is going to be, the derivative of the first term is negative 2,000 over r squared. And the derivative of the second term is 2 pi r. So, we need to find critical points of this function, and there are two places where we would want to look. Those in which the derivative is undefined, and those when the derivative is zero. Well, the derivative is undefined when r is equal to zero, because then this goes to negative infinity. But that doesn't really help us, because what good is a cup that has a radius of zero? It's not a cup anymore, so we're going to disregard that case. So instead, we need to find when this is 0. Two thousand over r squared. So we'll just multiply both sides by r squared. We get 2 pi r cubed equals 2,000, which tells us that r cubed is equal to 2,000 over 2 pi, which in turn tells us that r, our radius, is equal to the cube root of 1,000 over pi. I don't know that off the top of my head. I don't think anyone should. But I do have it written down that if you want a decimal approximation, this is 6.828 in case you need that. 
So now that we have r, we can plug it back in to our equations over here to try to find h. I'll just pick this one since it's the simplest. So we know that h is going to be 1,000 over pi times the cube root of 1,000 over pi squared, which is, can also be written 1,000 over pi times 1,000 over pi to the 3 halves power. But if you plug this in the calculator, you should notice that this is actually the same as this value right here. This is also 6.828. So the dimensions that we want to use to get a cup of 1,000 cubic centimeters to minimize the surface area is when the radius and the height are both the cube root of 1,000 over pi or 6.828 centimeters. There's our final answer.